everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new here, my name is Quinton, and in this video, we are going to talk about XRP. I received so many questions, so many messages in the last several days asking me my opinion about XRP, if these people should invest in XRP. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor, so I cannot answer that question, but I can give my opinion. And it's also what I'm going to do in this video to just answer all of these questions at once. And for people wondering what my opinion right now is about XRP, because it has been years since I last talked about XRP. So I'm going to talk about that in this video, but I also want to start with saying thank you. Thank you to all of you guys, because I just hit 70,000 subscribers here on my channel. Of course, that's again a big milestone. The next milestone is 100K. I really need that silver YouTube play button. So that's the ultimate goal, 100K subscribers. I hope to get it in 2021, but I'm very grateful for all you guys for for watching my videos for uh, liking the videos for commenting on it uh, and just be subscribed to my channel and watching all my videos I really want to say thank you and as a small thank you I want to give away seven times fifty dollars in the next seven videos so starting with this one I'm giving away fifty dollars and the next six videos as well seven in total so 70,000 subscribers seven days of giving away fifty dollars you see the connection right so the next the you videos I will give away fifty dollars at the end of um, every video so um, the next video I'm going to announce at the end of that video the winner of this one so all you need to do for that is be subscribed to my channel give the video a like and also leave your ethereum address in the comment section down below i'm giving away the money in eth so give me your eth address and i will randomly pick a winner every video for seven videos straight all right without further ado let's get started with the video and let's first check out coin gecko and xrp is currently worth 61 cents of a dollar uh, a market cap is 28 billion dollars it is ranked third so only bitcoin and ethereum are bigger in terms of market cap uh, than xrp um, so xrp is a very big project very valuable project as well and if we see the the chart right here we see that xrp is suddenly pumping so a lot of people are asking me right now also why is xrp pumping well xrp has its cycles it always had and it always will in my opinion as well so it had its peak here in the beginning of 2018 and after that it really had just one big downtrend and now it suddenly out of nowhere it started pumping you can see that xrp went up with 114 percent in the last 14 days it's not a lot more but 145 percent and then in the last year 163 percent so xrp if it pumps it always pumps hard you can see that again this is again proved that XRP can do nothing for years and then out of nowhere starts pumping a lot. That's typically XRP. It's also typical that XRP is the first one to pump in the beginning of a full-blown alt season. I talked about that yesterday as well. But now let's have a look at the reason why XRP is suddenly pumping. Well, the thing is, First of all, I think that XRP is pumping because it is just time. I mean, like it was sitting around accumulation area for a long time and it just had a trigger. I think that's the main reason is that they had a trigger for this uh, new bull cycle to start. And the trigger for that is the free distribution of 45 billion Spark tokens. These are based on a snapshot of XRP addresses that will be taken on December 12th. And that is going to be supported by Ripple's investment arm, um, Ripple X. So basically, this is the reason. So XRP holders will receive a drop of Spark tokens on December 12th, or at least the screen, the snapshot is taken on December 12th. So uh, they will receive Spark tokens. This is a very exciting project within the XRP um, ecosystem because Spark tokens are the utility tokens of a platform called Flare, which is very exciting. Flare integrates with the Ethereum virtual, virtual machine, allowing existing Ethereum decentralized applications or dApps to be ported over to Flare to serve the XRP ecosystem. So basically, Flare is building a bridge between dApps on Ethereum and on XRP. So basically these dApps can also work 
in the XRP ecosystem. That is, of course, a very big step forward for XRP. So I think this is probably the trigger why XRP suddenly started running. But of course, this, this isn't the full reason. I mean, like this is the, the trigger, but the run was going to happen anyway. In my opinion, it was just a matter of time. It was preparing for that for literally years. And right now it's just time, in my opinion. But this is, of course, a very important reason why it started bumping but there is more so i'm also going to talk about some partners of ripple xrp and actually there's a lot of controversy around these partners because um, many uh, critics say like hey they are not using the xrp token it's just using the ripple network that is wanting to replace uh, the old swift payment network um, but they say like hey the xrp token is not used even though they have some uh, some nice partnerships as you can see see right here for example american express santander a very big bank as well uh, moneygram very big as well um we have uh, we have some more actually such as a very big bank in in japan as well i'm going to show you just right here mufg bank is one of the biggest banks in Japan is also using a uh, ripple so this is a list of all partnerships that ripple or XRP uh, currently has but like I said it's especially the ripple net that is being adopted by these big partners even though these partnerships are very big critics say like they are not using the XRP token and I can understand them uh, but I can also understand like the XRP fans who say like yeah okay um, but they are being used um, and there will be um, more of a role being played by the XRP token in the future. I mean, I understand both camps, uh, but I think like the truth is a little bit in the middle um, because we can see right here. So XRP is the cryptocurrency which provides the bank with on-demand liquidity, a liquidity pool of XRP, which is used to source the international pool for the users of RippleNet. So basically XRP is simply in a pool that is being used for liquidity uh, in the usage of the RippleNet. So you can can say like it's not actively used it's not done for payments it's simply done for um, used for conversions um, yeah it's partially true so um, to me personally I don't think XRP is playing a big enough role within the ripple ecosystem um, to truly believe in the token itself but of course that doesn't take away the fact that it can develop into like having a big usage into the future so of course it's kind of a gamble if you talk about that like like this but there's also some cons because we now talked about some good things happening on xrp like the airdrop and flare coming to the ecosystem and the big partnerships that they have but there is some more uh, that critics are talking about as well um this is something like the ripple co-founder is dumping millions of xrp daily so jeb mccallop has reportedly dumped 75 million dollars worth of xrp on the market um in uh, the first half let's say of 2020 selling an average of 1.74 million xrp per day in total he owned 9 billion xrp this is his compensation for co-founding the company and as part of ripple's agreement with mccallop he is limited in regard of how many xrp he is allowed to sell but mccallop has been dumping his xrp on the market nearly every day for about six years at the current rate, McCallop is dumping his XRP on the market. It would take roughly 20 years for him to drain his supply. However, will reports believe that McCallop's settlement agreement with Ripple will end by the end of 2020 and that the restrictions regarding how much XRP he can sell daily, yearly, monthly will be lifted. This is also something I am concerned about, but I think in a full uh, bull cycle of XRP, the demand is a lot bigger than the selling side and I mean like this 1.74 million XRP that he's dumping every day won't make a big difference in my opinion. This is of course a very bad thing in a bear market because then the selling side is bigger than uh, the buying side. And if you add like nearly 2 million XRP every day to that selling side, of course, this will have a price effect in the long term. Maybe you don't see it because it's like small or small um, amounts that he's dumping every day. But I mean like in a bull cycle, you won't see the difference um with like um with or without at 1.74 million so it's actually not a nice thing to see 
of course if you were an xrp holder it's of course not a nice thing to see uh, but it's also not a good sign towards the rest of the market of course we know that xrp has a lot of critics and this won't help with that um the other thing is right here that um the critics are saying like hey uh, xrp is not only not usable uh, the ripple co-founder is dumping and it is centralized as well that's also a bit of a thing um ripple labs is controlling xrp it's also not like very decentralized the way it is built it's also not really um using blockchain technology even but now let me give you my opinion on ripple xrp the first thing i want to say is that i think it's a good investment so i think xrp is a cryptocurrency that is established it's already around for many years it always had very strong and very explosive bull cycles that's also a very nice thing uh, for the investors of xrp but don't forget to take profits there because it's also going down uh, very fast as well but they have like very explosive bull cycles and that is of course a very big advantage also xrp is among the first pumpers of a full-blown alt season which we might see right now as well but um aside from that i th i don't believe fundamentally in xrp because of the reasons that i already discussed here as well um of ripple being very centralized um ripple not actually being like blockchain technology and the usage of the xrp token is not very clear to me um how the price will increase um over the years i mean like the partners get xrp for free they don't need to buy it on the open market they they got it from the ripple foundation the ripple company behind xrp so um i question the xrp uh value as well um so fundamentally i'm not a big fan i don't hold xrp but as an investor i think xrp is good so um, it's a bit of the two for me personally but let's have a quick look at the charts as well uh, and here we can see like xrp pumping very hard you need to look at these daily candles these are literally insane just a few days ago it was at 22 cents right now it's at triple that it's at 66 67 cents right now it even went to 78 cents um, earlier today and you can see that there are some big resistance levels so we had some accumulation going on right here between 17 cents and 33 cents it broke out of that here is a very important resistance area in my opinion it should go and retest that so um, maybe we're going to close here but um, i think a very sustainable cycle will always retest this level so we can go straight further up but i don't think that's very healthy for the pump so it would be a nice thing if uh if we just went to um uh, let me take the brush tool like this and then further up maybe um, but in my opinion um, xrp is going to have its explosive bull cycle again it looks like this um, if we have a look at the history we see that these have very very big um, bull cycles very explosive bull cycles i expect the same thing to happen right now but maybe we go retest the 50 cent level first then go towards the next very important uh, resistance area which is here between 93 cents and around one dollar and i think once it broke one dollar i think it really left the station because then there's not much resistance left between one dollars and like the top right here of nearly three point three dollars so basically to me this is just all blue skies so if xrp manages to get above one dollar and maybe that is going to happen then um, i wouldn't be surprised to see it at three dollars in no time i also expect xrp to break its all-time high in 2021 because it has still a strong community um, it is still like a very established cryptocurrency and in a full-blown uh, bull cycle in a full-blown alt season uh, all these cryptocurrencies decent cryptocurrencies will see new all-time highs so this is for me the same uh, for xrp so i expect to see a new all-time high one day for um, xrp so that is actually my opinion on the usd chart here uh, just want to show you this to end the video so this is the bitcoin chart and we see that xrp um just to show you how explosive these uh, bull cycles can be for xrp it pumped 
5,688% in just a few weeks in the beginning of the first alt season in 2017. After that, all the other cryptocurrencies also started pumping, altcoins started pumping, and then it went all the way back down to this level where it almost started, and then it pumped another 1,900% in the beginning of the second alt season in 2017. So two times in the beginning, of a full-blown alt season xrp was among the first ones to pump and then after that it went all the way back down to the beginning of these levels so that's why i say like take profits if you invest in xrp um i mean like the rewards are very big because it pumps so hard but after that it returns almost to that beginning level again and again so um yeah i don't like to see that but uh, i don't think it's a problem if you take profits along the way all right guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it if so please give it a like and if you're new to the channel please subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below to stay updated with all the latest cryptocurrency news reviews my own portfolio and much more i thank you for watching and i'll see you next video cheers bye bye